Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. This is a super short video that just discusses karma and the new theme song of our dastardly duo, The Sounds of Silence. You know the sugars are having a field day because today is May 19th and it happens to be the wedding anniversary for Harry and his wife. And it's being pointed out that Beatrice is selfish because she dared to announce her pregnancy on Harry and his wife's wedding anniversary. Twitter users were jumping all over that one. First, pointing out that actually, per Harry and his wife, their real wedding was three days earlier. So today was just the date of the spectacle. Murky Meg rightfully pointed out that the palace would have had to give the okay for this announcement to go out on the date, showing that maybe the palace is learning and has decided that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's a fabulous announcement. Everybody's happy and she's probably at least three months along, which means Philip probably knew she was pregnant before he died, which I think is absolutely fabulous. And for people who were saying that that was petty of the palace, People on Twitter are pointing out uh, instances where Harry and his wife did the exact same thing in trying to overshadow the royal family. And I think it's very telling that the palace did it today. They probably will not make another announcement today because then it leads into this that came out today. That's right. Prince Charles put up a post about farming on Harry and his wife's anniversary instead of wishing them a happy anniversary. He felt that it was important to announce that it's been three years since the Sandringham estate transitioned to being fully organic. And that is important to know. You guys, I am really a big, big believer in karma. And I just, don't you see how this played out? Like they announced on Harry and his wife's wedding anniversary that Beatrice and her husband are pregnant, just like Harry and his wife announced their pregnancy at Eugenie's wedding. So I am making this video on May 19th and it is 8.45 in the morning here, which means it's like one or two o'clock, almost three o'clock in the UK. And the royal family has been completely silent on their wedding anniversary, which I think is just so telling. Now, maybe they'll put something out in the evening, but as of right now, while I'm making this video, there's been nothing but silence. Now, I'd also like to point out, it's quite possible that they congratulated them in private, but unlike these two, they won't make that public. Harry and his wife would never release to the public that they were congratulated privately. That's only something that they do to put themselves out there for good PR. And of course, not notifying people that they were reached out to, that the family reached out to them, falls in with their victim narrative. Maybe members of the royal family are just too busy. Charles and Camilla, I believe, are still in Northern Ireland, and Kate was at two new exhibitions at the VNA. I mean, nobody's, they're just carrying on doing their work. Oh my God, she is just so freaking gorgeous. We all know already that the leaks that took place during the funeral about how many times Harry spoke with his brother, how many times Harry spoke with his wife, the wreath that they put, the note who signed, all the leaks came from Harry's side. And the family has now learned the hard way that they cannot communicate with him anymore. And I, I honestly believe that there's no communication at all. And I completely agree with their stance in doing this. I completely support that because I think it's been shown that there can be no communication without the whole world knowing about it. So I stand by what I said before, you cannot solve your mental health issues by causing mental health issues and anxiety to other people. Now we know how they always like to steal the limelight whenever something comes up. The pregnancy announcement came out and you know that the two of them were scrambling because at 4.30 United States time, which is like 10 o'clock at night UK time, they posted what you see above which is just another way of saying we're marking our anniversary by getting other people to donate their money so we can build a relief center and take all the credit. But if anything, the timing of this release shows that they're totally out of the loop and that they had no idea a pregnancy announcement was coming today. Moving on. 
It's fin update time, but I don't have a video for you because he's in training all during the days, but I do have a really quick story. Hubby wanted to try and let him sleep with us like our old dog did before he passed away, and we gave it a try, and it worked well for a couple days till I found the big puddle of urine in the laundry room where he got up in the middle of the night and peed. Yeah, it didn't go so well. Thank God for small blessings. I should just be happy he didn't pee in the bed. My heartfelt congratulations go out to this fabulous couple. I just know you're going to be great parents. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Karma is a thing, man. So what do you guys think about the royal family making no mention or note of the third wedding anniversary of Harry and his wife? All right, you guys, don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee fund. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And as always, have a great day.